welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to remove the PCB board on a autosave Henry. Now I've done a video on how to remove one of these before but it wasn't very good so I thought I'd remake it since I've got the shed. So the PCB in an autosave Henry is really quite a common thing to go. Um, an autosave Henry is the one with this green flower on the top here. And if you look on the back, the model number will be HVR200A. Um, this one's 2013, but they were made from 2008, late, well, late 2008 till 2014. Um, and they also feature this kind of switch here. Now, the PCB is quite a common thing to go on these, as I said before. Um, when you switch the machine on, the machine might not come on. This indicator light here might just come on and go on like brighter uh, when you push that down or it might just randomly change between speeds and turn itself off. Now this one here it just when I plug it in the light comes on and doesn't do nothing. So yeah that is a sign that the PCB has gone. Now this is a machine I literally found today being thrown out. It came with the hose and the tubes and everything. So that was a result. So yeah, let's crack on and remove the PCB. So here's some of the tools you'll need. You'll need a, uh, a Phillips screwdriver. This one is just a standard screwdriver really. Maybe a flathead screwdriver as well. And a pair of small pliers um, to help pull cables off. So the first thing you want to do is unclip the clips and remove the head from your Henry so you won't need none of this um, so you can go somewhere else so here's your top of your Henry um, run the cable in now some of these later ones uh, this one isn't one of them because it still uses the Phillips screws but some of the later um, auto saves use uh, a Torx screw now there are seven screws there's two no there's four outer ones here and three inner ones. Now you want to remove all of these by just simply putting your screwdriver in and removing all of them. And then I'll, uh, I'll show you how to obviously take it apart. Now all our screws are removed um, and undone. You want to turn the top of your Henry over, make sure you don't lose any screws and just literally lift off the top cover. Uh, that won't be needed. Uh, rewind cassette will lift straight out, that won't be needed either, so we can put that to the side. And all that will be needed is this part here. So obviously there are screws that are falling out, so just put, some, put them somewhere to keep them safe. Now the first thing you want to do is um, also want to be careful of these little uh, white wheels in here. So I sometimes just pick them out. Um, they sometimes come out, sometimes don't, but just be careful of them. But the first thing you want to do is you want to ping this little cover off here. So just get a screwdriver, don't matter if it's a flat bladed one or just a normal one, and just um, ping that clip there. That just saves them breaking. And that just comes off and set that to a side. Now when you look in here, this may look a bit confusing, but this will be very easy once we get to um, actually removing the PCB. Um, now next thing you want to do is just go around the edges and kind of pry up this section here because this may be a bit stiff and stuck down um, from use over the years and then all you want to do is just lift that out as well. Um, here is your motor, um, if it comes out like this you just want to um, obviously remove the leads, maybe um, a bit stiff that's why you might need pl pliers and remove this section. Now this motor looks really clean, if that part in the middle there, see now this part here, if that seems really black you might need a new motor, but this one it seems fine. So we'll set this to a side as well, um, I've got no space so we're just going to uh, hold this here, let the camera work, move that there, we're just going to put that there like that. So here's the main section you need, and this is your PCB. Obviously the PCB just lifts straight out. Um, and also while we're under here as well, we want to remove this black, no, this brown and blue wire here. 
like so. So we've got four wires that are not connected to nothing. Um, then we want to get our flathead screwdriver again and just uh, ping the switches out. Now you might be able to do this without using the screwdriver, but I just prefer to use a screwdriver, like so. And then these should just really lift out, if I'm honest. It's quite easy. Um, don't worry if no wire, if wires come disconnected. Um, so yeah, here is a uh, wiring loom for your autosave Henry. Now, all the wires you'll need is the two white wires and this brown and blue wire. So what I'm going to do now is just disconnect um, the wires that I need and show you. So here is both the white wires disconnected. This one's a piggyback connector. This would go on here with this wire attached to here. Um, and then the other white wire would be attached to here. And then these two, obviously, on the switch here. So that's all we really need. We don't need none of that. Um, but just in case, keep that safe, take pictures or whatever. But we'll put that down there for now. So the white wires will go anywhere. It doesn't really matter where these go on the switch. And just make sure the bigger ones go onto the connectors like so and then our switch we can fit straight back into here um, like so I can't do this one-handed so we'll come back when I've fitted this in so our switch is now back in here now there will be a hole here and an, an easy fix just to block that up is just put the, um, the high low switch back in with nothing connected onto it but for now, we're going to leave that as it is, just in case it is something else that is wrong with it. So we can just put the uh, PCB straight back in. So we'll turn this over. All the wires are fed through. Now, you won't need these wires yet. Um, you'll just need the brown and the blue one um, for now. So the blue one goes on the spade here, closest to the, um, the, the back of the machine, where the switches are. And the brown one just goes on the one furthest away. Uh, very simple, just lock them into this little kind of tab down there. So, lock them into there and then just push the cables into that little recess and push them down. Now, next thing you want to do is you want to get our motor. Now, although our motor is sitting nicely in here, just in case you do take this apart another way, we'll just take the motor out for you um, and we'll take the seal off. And we'll take this little cage out that just lifts out, and then we've got this uh, this filter as well. So here's the motor. This is a 1200 watt twin flow motor. Quite a good motor these uh, when they're running right. So the cables doesn't really matter what way they go on the motor. They will go on anyway. It doesn't matter at all. Nothing bad will happen. Um, so don't stress about getting them on the right spade connectors. And then the motor um, will just line up. Um, just make sure you've got this, this part on the top here because um, it won't sit in there right otherwise. So you want to move the motor out of the way, the cables rather, and we want to just sit that in there. We'll just move them cables over and we'll sit that one there in that recess and then this one here will also sit in there. Also this cable will be a bit longer than usual as it has to be feeded through half the, other mach half the machine before it reaches the motor when the uh, board is in, but we don't obviously have the board in, so that will just sit in there like that. Then we want our filter. Now I normally put these in with the, uh, the, uh, the bit of the slit facing backwards. Like so, just I normally just try and tuck it in to that thing there, just in space to the motor, like so. And then we want this cage. Now you want this flat bit to be facing down because that goes over the cables. So this goes in here, like so. Just be careful not to trap anything in there, um, like that. There we go. That's it, like that. So that goes in there like that. And then our white, or you might have a black seal if you have an older machine, goes on there. Um, motor runs freely and then we want our motor cover obviously just to go in there like that and the single screw pointing towards the back and then just line all the 
the pegs up like so and that will go back onto there like that now if you want to well you can test it like this so i'm just going to put this cover back on just so them contacts are hidden and they cannot be touched when the machine is on um, i'm going to put this onto here um, now do this at your own risk if you get electrocuted don't blame it on me because it's at your own risk um, but anyway we just put our rewind dunes back on pull the cable out a bit and we can just plug that in there and turn the machine on and see if it will work So yep, our Henry now works. So as I said before, to block up that hole there, we can just use this little um, old high-low switch. So this will come out like so. Oh, it should be easier on hand. Um, I'll just quickly pause the camera there. But here's the switch that will just can be pushed into there like so. And then to put the uh, the top back on, of course. Just repeat this process, um, line the switches and stuff up, obviously, like that. And we can put our cable entry back in the machine, like so, and obviously turn the head over and do the screws up. So, there we go. That is how you remove the PCB board on your autosave Henry. Now, if you break your Henry or you get electrocuted or your Henry blows up, it will not be my fault, so do not come blaming me. Um, as I'm not liable for your mistakes so yeah that is just a quick fix for your Henry um, also if you do put the switch back in it will not do nothing it's just there to block the hole up and the machine will just be on the highest speed possible uh, running at the full 1200 watts that it did when you press the high switch but anyway there we go that's how you remove the PCB on your Henry I hope you enjoyed the video and found it interesting and helpful. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. And of course, bye for now.